Hey, this is Cindy from Freeze Babies Fiber Frolic. Oh, I just thought I would do a really quick recording of um, that's going around about three of your favorite uh, quarantine snacks. What kind of food are you eating while we're stuck here in the in the uh, home all this time? Well, first off, I'm home all the time anyway, so this hasn't been that big of a deal for me. Um, I mean, it's a big deal, but um, it just I'm always home anyways. But um, this this last week or two um, happened to fall into the time of Passover, so we've been we have a lot of matzah crackers around the house. So instead of using bread, we've been using matzah for everything. So what I've been doing is um, one with me with a snack is anything that re involves around cheese because it's cheese is one of my favorite things in the world. So, um, I've been making stuff with the matzo and cheese. Um, one interesting thing is I take um, two pieces of matzo, put cheese in between it, nuke it for 20 seconds, and then we got my version of a grilled cheese sandwich, matzo style. Um, another thing is we've been making matzo pizza out of it. Basically, uh, you put the matzo on a cookie sheet, Put a little bit of um, tomato sauce on it and then some cheese and I like to put spinach on it and then you stick it in the oven for what 15 minutes whatever it is however it takes to get the cheese and stuff melted so that's another one um, also again involving matzo um, you take uh, we call it pets we call it matzo crack or Jewish crack and it, it basically tastes like a um, Eat bar. What you do is you take the uh, matzo, put uh, put down some um, on a cookie sheet. Put down some parchment paper. Put the matzo, spread it out, um, and so that it completely covers the cookie sheet. And then you take some two sticks of butter and a cup of brown sugar, and melt it in the um, on the stove over low heat, constantly stirring it until it thickens and bubbles up. Then you pour that over the matzo and then put it in the oven at 375 for approximately 15 minutes. Basically what you're doing is you're making it into a toffee. It, you want it to bubble up, um, you know, the thing to be completely bubbled. Okay, so then you take that out of the oven and the rest of it you don't need the oven for. So you can turn the oven off and then you take uh, some um, chocolate chip chocolate chips and you spread them on, cover the uh, cover the um, matzo with the melted uh, toffee stuff on it, and let it sit for a few minutes until the uh, chips start to um, melt. And then you spread it all over them. And then you take some um, walnuts or pecans, and the ground ones are um, crack, yeah, whatever you call it, chopped. There you go. And you put those on it and then you stick it in the refrigerator or the freezer for maybe 45 minutes take it out and you can cut it and you got some really good um, heat bars um, and then what else do we have oh um we like to eat fruit and this time of the year here in Florida you can get a lot of berries so this and the stores have had like um the trays little trays of um blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries and stuff. Three for ten dollars. So we've been getting that and mixing it up in a bowl and having fruit salad kind of as a nice afternoon snack. And then of course um, we have a, a lot of different veggies in the house so every meal we try to have it. But another thing we like to do is get the steam in the bag at a mommy and just eat that. Steam it and eat that. Um, don't put anything on it. I mean, sometimes you can get it with salt on it, but um, mm, Sai and I prefer to have it um, without, you know, without anything on it. And this has been a good experience for us as a family because Gabriel, my stepson, wanted to learn how to cook. So we've been teaching him. Um, him and his dad have been having some bonding time using the grill. So. He's learned how to grill steak and chicken, and now he wants to learn how to make 
um, bread, so um, next week maybe we can work on that. Um, now my idea of making bread is um, getting the frozen dough, thawing it out, doing the proofing and all that, and then stick it in the oven. If he wants to make it from scratch, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I can do that too, but I cheat as much as I can. Anyways, I just thought I'd share this um, snack time during the quarantine. Um, freeze baby style. You know, like I said, it's all about the cheese. Thanks, and you guys have a good day.